Oh. Hey everybody, Wolfie here. Um, got another experiment going on this year. Um, it's getting that time where we got to step up our deer feeding and stuff to attract them to the area. And I found a great channel on YouTube um, called New NB Wild Man. And the guy's a pretty avid hunter, but he's got some uh, recipes for different deer attractants. Um, so we're going to do a video up here. We're going to mix some one up. Um, this is the first one I found. It's a powdered version of, um, what's that stuff called? Buck jam. Um, it's kind of the same idea. We got our pail here. This is all our ingredients. Now, we got two packages, like nice big packages of Kool-Aid. I've got the blue, blue ice and cherry, which should work pretty good. We have a five pound bag of sugar. We have two, um, where are they? They say they're one pound. Of salt we have a box of baking soda and two boxes of jello I've got wild cherry and lemon so um, add that kind of citrusy type flavor to it but it's a pretty easy recipe you pretty much just mix all this crap together now on the other guy's channel when he was doing this he used two smaller bags of sugar and we checked it out and they were one kg bags well this is a two kg bag so i guess it works perfect so we're gonna get busy here and we're gonna get everything all mixed up we're gonna start with our sugar and like I said, it's pretty easy. Just dump it in there. We have a bunch of crap here to put in the fire by the looks of things. Now I know these have nice easy, easy pour spouts on them, but well, we're not filling a shaker. <laughs> There's one container of salt. Now, this stuff's supposedly pretty potent, which I can see having all this sugar and salt in here it's gonna have a really nice flavor to it with or like type thing with the fruity type smell berry smell we got our box of baking soda oh Should have pre-opened these packages before I started. But, okay, our two packs of jello. Pack of lemon. Oops. Don't drop your packages in there. <laughs> Don't think the deer want the packages. We got our cherry. Oh. Now we've got our Kool-Aid mixer. Like I said, I've got the ice blue. So it's blue raspberry. Well, raspberry lemon. So I guess that kind of goes 
good with the using the lemon uh, jello mixture. Yeah, these are oh, and to see the size here, 892 grams, so not quite a kg each of these. We're almost up to the fun part. I'm going to be putting my regular feed and stuff out as well this year, but we're getting started with just this stuff so we can get it all set up, see if it works. Should attract something, right? Yeah, that makes half a pail. This is pretty good sized pail. Make sure your lid's on good. Well, make sure you're holding the handle so it's not too noisy. Or just take the handle off, but That'll make it pretty hard to move around like the haul hoop. Woo! She's smoking. Now, we'll grab something here for mixing this stuff up really well. Big old soup spoon. this stuff out this is enough for a couple different spots easily um but what you do is you find an old stump along your deer trail area and you pour this stuff out onto it then instead of worrying about adding water you know what, just Mother Nature take its course with rain and stuff. I think we're pretty well mixed here. You want to make sure you get it completely mixed up good. So it's not, you know, one ingredient ends up overpowering a spot when you go to pour some out. And there we go. Camera's actually set up perfect. Jeanette got me a cool new camera holder for doing this stuff. So. But as you can see, it's well, you should be able to see it's pretty well mixed. It's got kind of a pinkish color because of the cherry type. Kool-Aid and uh, Jell-O. Got a pretty good consistency to it. But it should gel up pretty good when it gets wet from the rain and stuff. So, first chance we get, we'll get out and get this some of this put out. I've got a couple spots that we're going to use for our test sites for it. And I'm going to continue through this uh, fall. And yes, for anyone wondering, that's a cat litter pail. And it was cleaned out good. <laughs> <coughs> but yeah, I'm going to try a few different recipes for this stuff. Including some of the liquid um, gooey type ones. There's a He's got a molasses flavored one. Um, I think one was an apple, and I can't remember the other one. I think it was just wild berries, which is pretty close to what we've just made anyway, except they were the liquid forms. So, pretty much same idea for the ingredients. 
Hmm. Sorry about that. But yeah, first chance we get, we got this stuff all ready to go now. So we can snap our lid on. And we'll get this out to the woods hopefully tomorrow. And we'll get a spot all picked out for it. And yeah, there should be enough there for at least two two good sites, maybe even three. Um, the pail's filled to about here, so around the halfway mark from what we used. And I guess for now that's about it until we get out to the woods to get the stuff put out. Okay. Oh, <laughs> one of them nights. Okay, so we're out here. We got a kind of a misty type rain going on right now. But we got game camera set up. We got the supervisor. Now, we've got our old log. And we've got our pail of stuff. So, this is where we're going to set up. This probably ain't going to be the greatest camera angle here, but... Oh. So, what we do... We just take our pail of junk. It's about half of what we got mixed up. Put our lid back on here real quick. <clears throat> oh. I probably shouldn't be out in this weather, but hey, it happens. Now we pretty much just let the rain do its job. Get that soaked into the log. get the smell out there it's a pretty good area for deer um, way over there might be able to bank it out a bright white spot that's my hanging feeder that we were working with last year this is a really nice area for deer though As you can see lots of open area they feel safe in here because they've got the big hardwood swamp over along that side. They've got a big ridge along that side they can take off and get to the other side of. The other side of that ridge is the creek. So now we turn on the game camera and we wait. Alex is playing on the deer trails. <laughs> He's trying, trying pretty hard to be a hunting dog. Okay, well, hopefully I'll have some good game cam footage to show you as by the time I put this up. Another deer watch in the works. Just spent a, about three quarters of an hour brushing out all the lower branch, pine branches and stuff here. And this high rock over there through them trees it's hard to tell on the video but i can actually see pretty good across there got the nice big gut here that the deer travel all the time and now i've got a nice good view of it a nice rock here to sit on too little odds and ends that are still in the way but don't want to change it too much, right? Plus, I can collect all these dead pine branches that are from the bottom to use for kindling. 